Hey guys, how's it going? And I hope you're ready to get spooked. Couldn't help but notice your unshivered timbers over there. <laughs> Thought I could maybe be of assistance. I think we can all agree that the scariest thing, besides like spiders and snakes and guns, is clowns. Big red nose, all the better to smell you with. They have a flower that waters you? Like, this type of subversion of expectations is the spawn of nightmares. But today we're gonna be doing a bit of a spooky research project. We're gonna try our best to accurately put together a good depiction of what has been described as the most haunted clown motel. I'm almost positive that you can replace haunted with any adjective and that sentence will still be equally as true. Uh, in all my research, I failed to find another clown motel. So I think they just kind of got all the clown motel superlatives in the bag. Can someone please get into contact with AOC so she can go on a savage tweet storm and break up this clown motel monopoly? Well, hey there y'all. So in today's AOC AF news, yesterday she went on a savage tweet storm that was precipitated by- Well, it seems like she's busy. I'll let her get to that. I do digress though. One thing that my dear, dear father has taught me is you don't have to touch a stove to know it's hot. So rather than subjecting my hand to this proverbial stove, I'm gonna be looking at some YouTubers who are far braver than I that just rested their hand right on this stove as if someone said, dude, she's coming, act natural. Does this read, does this look like this is what I was trying to describe? The first case study we'll be reviewing is trapped in a haunted clown motel for 24 hours. And this is a video by Brent Rivera, our beautiful Brent boy, our beautiful bad Brent baby boy. Clown motel. Oh, what the hell? Right there, it's right there. Look. Where? Oh, go, 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 go. The illusion is shattered immediately when we see how they actually got trapped in this haunted clown motel for 24 hours. This is the clown motel. It's located in the middle of nowhere and is known as the scariest hotel in America. There are hundreds of reviews warning people never to stay there and that it's haunted. And of course we're doing the opposite. Of course we are. Of course they are. <laughs> These wacky kids. So they book the most haunted two bedroom so that they can get trapped in it. This is a weird question, but is there any way we can get the most haunted room? Yeah, we have a two bedroom available. And they immediately try to recruit like 10 people to come stay in this two bedroom apartment. So I don't know what they thought was gonna happen here. And this scene of them rejecting his idea just has probably the best acting that I've ever seen. <laughs> Fun. What part of this is gonna be fun? Bro, this isn't fun. <laughs> that looks so scary. We lay on motel in the middle of nowhere. Sounds appetizing. <laughs> Sounds appetizing? The way that they just look into the camera as they're having this conversation just irks me. What about you, Pearson? No. Come Brent, on. You know I'm afraid of clowns. I'm not doing anything like this. It'll be fun. Just no, me it's you. not. No, stop asking me. I'm not. So some people end up coming. Some people don't. Come on. I'm out of here. I don't want to be involved in anything that's going on. Dog. I'm leaving. Dog. I'm leaving. You and Pennywise have a great time, okay? Pennywise? I don't watch Brent Rivera, so I don't know his vlog squad well enough. So I genuinely cannot tell if this girl with the hat is the same girl as this girl in the car without the hat. I talk a lot of shit about cartoon disguises, but the fact that she has a hat on here and doesn't have a hat on here, I, I genuinely am questioning myself. So what are you guys most excited for on this trip? I'm gonna say quality time. Quality time. Oh! <laughs> That's it. What'd you think of that, Lexi? Well, I'm not going now, so oh. I mean, I'm glad you got your funny little video. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, yeah, I'll come along to the scary clown motel, but if there's gonna be clowns involved that scare me, Count me out. Well, have fun at the clown hotel. Yeah, you guys have a great time, okay? Wait. Guys, where are you going? Uh, we're gonna Uber. Yeah. We don't even want you guys to come anyway. They know it's a two bedroom motel room, so they don't have room for all these people. So they gotta have to like make narrative ways for them to just drop off. Where we're going is probably the only place on the planet that you can have ghosts, aliens, clowns, <laughs> and murderers <laughs> all in one building. That's exactly why we're going. W aliens? Murderers? No one has said anything about that so far in the video, I promise. I promise I didn't cut out them talking about aliens and murderers. I would have kept it in. Dude, honestly, thank you so much for coming to my birthday party. I mean, it feels great to have friends that are this close to me. Yeah, of course I'm coming. You're my best friend. And it's just laser tagging. I love laser tag. D just laser tagging? <laughs> Dude, what are you talking about just laser tagging? This place we're going is the only place where you can have laser tagging, aliens, ghosts, and murderers all in one building. Oh, I'm not doing this. I'm out of here. Wah! I can't. How do I fall out of here? So they get to the actual clown motel, and when they walk in, 
it's really not that bad. Like, don't get me wrong, it's very creepy. There are so many clowns. There should never be this many clowns in one place. But like, they kind of admit it themselves. It's not so scary. Honestly, not as scary as I thought. And it seems like they all realize this at around the same moment. So they all just flock to the owner and ask him questions to try and zhuzh the place up, make it seem spooky. Stoner, he was uh, died in a Belmont fire and he was buried here. Are okay. any of these rooms like haunted? People, they hear the voices. Are there clowns in the room? There are some paintings. Are there clowns in the room? This is the part of the video where the buildup of how creepy this place is going to be is naturally over. We're here and we have the room. So now it's time to shift into making staying in a motel room content. They get into their room and they're immediately so flabbergasted by the amount of clowns in here. Oh my gosh, what the hell is this? Look at all the paintings, just to watch us sleep. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? What is that? Oh, is that a clown? Dude, get- Oh! Well, these paintings are pretty- Oh! Oh, those- Is that a clown? I don't know why- Why this is my- My go-to pose for someone who's scared. Yo. There's 125 channels on the TV. No way. So oh! Whoa! What? What? Drew! What? Was that you? Yeah, what? I turned off the lights. Why? You guys are way too paranoid. I this is unbearable. Okay, this is unbearable. It's obviously staged, right? But I like to pretend like it wasn't. I like to imagine like right before this organic misunderstanding took place, this woman is like, Brent, you gotta get over here. Check out how many channels this bad boy has. This would be good content for your vlog. We don't have 124 channels. <laughs> oh no, no, no. So I'm not sure how long they've exactly been at this motel so far, but one thing I can comfortably say is that none of these people are trapped in this motel. They take out ghost hunting equipment, which I guess they just had. Like, they framed this trip as a surprise for anyone that's not Brent and Drew, right? But then this woman takes out, like, this ghost device from her purse. What the hell is that, Ava? It's a heat thing, look. So wait, it senses if there's, like, a ghost in the room? Yeah. So there's some type of activity over here. Yeah, there, it's oh, this thing? This is just my ghostly thermal gun that I keep on me, you know for apparitions. This is like the creepiest thing we've ever done. They should like the video because we're literally putting ourselves in danger. We're ourselves risking in our lives. <laughs> so guys, smash the like button. Oh, uh, what? Could you imagine if anyone who was actually risking their life did that in the middle of whatever activity they were doing? Thank you all for coming. Thank you for tuning in. I know we all know why we're here today. So I'll keep this brief. There's a couple of things that I want to say to my family and my friends and all my supporters out there. No, yes, and again, what is this mission again? What is the official mission that we're going on? Yes, Jim, okay. Very funny. If I can just get through this though, there's a lot of people watching, so. This historic event is gonna go down in history, whether we like it or not. Yes, and just to be clear, one more time, for anyone who's potentially not aware, what exactly, okay, yes, Jim, all right, yes, okay. No one's laughing, alright? Can we get through it? Okay, fine. I didn't want to do this, but I don't know. Alright, and I feel bad, because I'm the only reporter here. Oh wait, you seriously don't know? This- Right? It's embarrassing. So, can you just stop all the fancy schmancy putting around and this- It's the first manned space shuttle to Uranus. <laughs> it gets me too. We're on top of a graveyard. He literally said there's a flood that wiped a bunch of freaking baby bodies across the floor. You expect me to believe that the owner of this motel said that there was a flood that wiped down a bunch of freaking baby bodies and you cut it out of the video? And you expect the people watching this to believe I cut it out of the video? Because you knew I'd make this video. Now I think we should go to the graveyard, guys. That just happened and now you want to go to the graveyard. I don't know, we're already here. We might as well go check out the graveyard. At this point, I think we have to. Let's go to the graveyard for some content, ladies and gents. Yeah. Let's, let's walk over people's graves for a video. I mean, you can make an argument if done respectfully, there's nothing inherently wrong about filming at a graveyard. My issue with this is it's not done respectfully. Like, watch, we're gonna watch it, so. Yeah, yeah, these are actual graves. These are real freaking graves. Oh my God. Yo, is this a bad idea? 100%. Like, ah, uh, ah, uh, you see? Doesn't this feel bad? Am I, am I wrong here? Oh my God, what is this? What the hell? It's literally like a baby crib. It is, Brent. It's literally like a baby crib in a graveyard. Think about that for a second, man. These are the kids he was talking about that died in the fire. Literally, there's so many of them. And if they are, Brent? When is it gonna be enough? <laughs> when are you gonna say no more? 
How is how is the irony not just smacking them in the face? Like, what is this? Because when is it going to be enough? When are you going to say no more? When we like, find a clown. Uh, I'm just overthinking everything at this point. I forgot he answered. I forgot he answered the question. Behind the flag, do you see that? What? 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 Oh my god, there's someone, there's someone, there's someone, there's someone right there. What? Uh, what? <laughs> what, Drew? <laughs> Go around. It's right there, it's right there. Look. Where? Oh, sh he just turned. Go. The amount of times that Brent Rivera says what in that video. What? 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 Wait, what? What do you mean? What did you, what did you see? What? Uh, what? What, Drew? It, it kills my soul. Brent Rivera, more like. Macklemore at the beginning of Thrift Shop. What, 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 what? I'll keep it in. This was way too spooky for them. So they decide to just leave. It hasn't been close to 24 hours, and they're obviously not trapped because they were like, you know what, guys, we're just gonna leave. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. It's 4 a.m., guys, and uh, we did not complete the overnight challenge. <laughs> guys, if this video gets 400,000 likes. Now we have a pretty good idea of what the clown motel is. A lot of clowns. It's a motel. I think, did we learn much? But I think in order to truly do our due diligence into this clown motel, we need to look at another perspective. So this is why I've gathered together Faze Rugg's video from a couple months ago. And immediately, the stakes in this video are much higher than in Brent Rivera's video. I'm gonna go ahead and let you, let you watch this. All right guys, so I just got this really creepy email with a link to a video message challenging me to go out to one of the most haunted motels in the entire world. And I didn't know if it was a prank or if it's a joke, but it was one of the creepiest videos I've ever seen. I'm gonna play it for you guys right now. Here we go, ready? Oh gosh, here we go. Hello, Faze Rug. I've seen you go to a bunch of haunted places, but you would never dare to step foot in the clown motel. Come any day, any time, we'll be waiting. <laughs> he can't be going to this clown motel. We're heading to the clown motel. I'm always up for a challenge. I, I do love how Brent Rivera just booked a room, but Faze Rug, he was summoned here by some ghost clowns, or were they... Were these real clowns? So is it haunted or is it just like stocked up with like creepy clowns? With with like push brooms and stuff. So Face Rug and Brent Rivera essentially have the same video. So I'm not gonna go through the entire video and just be like, what? they think there's ghosts here? Again, you know? So we're gonna talk about the portion before and after they get into their room, you know? Which seems like all of it when I say it like that, but it's not. Before Faze Rug goes to the actual clown motel, he kind of explores the town. And none of the people in these videos can get over the fact that it's a small town. Like, this is how Brent Rivera and them reacted to it. So guys, we just got into the town. It is so spooky here. Oh my gosh, look at that. What? Brent! Oh. What did you take us to? <sighs> which, which is hilarious, but it's... Subjectively pretty tame when compared to how FaZe Rug then reacts to it. I've seen the sheriff drive by and the reason why I'm scared of sheriffs in small towns, you know that the sheriffs in small towns, like they're in on it. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> whatever weird stuff goes on, they're in on it. They created it. <laughs> what is the sheriff in on? Is the sheriff in on ghost clowns? Are you telling me you think the sheriff is is tight with the ghost clowns? I don't think the sheriff could do anything in this situation if he wasn't in on it. So good for him, honestly. Nah, dog. the sheriff has to be in on it or else all these ghost clowns would have been in the clink. So Brent Rivera and FaZe Rug are staying in different rooms, but at one point in time, FaZe Rug tells us the name of the motel room he's staying in. Cause they have names. They have little names. I love this, I love this because it means that either Brent didn't get the most haunted room or somehow there's a room more haunted than the exorcist room. Now I need to give credit where credit is due. They do a better job ghost hunting than the other guys. They seem to be more objective and less, holy shit, did you guys hear that? Fine boom sound effect, you know? What if it's under the bed? Uh -uh. Oh my God, oh, it's fine. under the bed. However, this part really did make me laugh. Is this a secret door? There's like a-, a... It's a what? Water heater. Water, water heater. heater room, can we open it? Yeah. Is that a, is that a secret door? Did we find a secret door? Oh no, don't worry, no dog, that's just the water heater room. The what? It's a water heater room? It's so like the shower, in the baths, they get hot. Can we, can we look inside? I mean, sure, if you wanna, if you wanna look inside my water heater room. What the? They have this device 
that lets you hear the ghost. It lets the ghost talk to you. But the only thing is, you have to figure out what the fuck they're saying. I heard no. Did you hear a no? Yeah, I heard a no. You want us to leave. Oh. I heard phase rug. I don't know if you heard that. It's gibberish, right? It's gibberish? Yeah, so I think we put together a pretty good idea of what this place is. This video wasn't meant to be, pff, this place definitely isn't haunted because that doesn't warrant a video and also this place definitely is haunted. If there were to be a place that is haunted, it would be this one. You know, it's a motel built on top of a graveyard with a bunch of clowns everywhere that YouTubers go to to make content about how haunted it is and how gruesome everything that happened here was, like yeah, the ghosts are gonna be mad about that. If there was a gimmicky hotel built on my grave that like Brent Rivera came to, to make content where, where he just like kinda, he sprinted over my grave, I would follow him home. I'd 100% haunt him. What? Easiest call I've ever made. So just, let's let the graveyard content kinda chill out. You know, let's not do this anymore. I don't think any YouTubers have to go to this motel anymore. We figured it out, there are clowns there, and there was a flood that happened a while ago. Okay, that's gonna do it for today's video, you guys. And as a tradition with all of my videos, all of my numerous videos about haunted places, I gotta rank this on my haunt meter I just gotta. The patent is still pending, so you guys better not fuck with me on this. <laughs> the Legendary Clown Motel, based on all the information that I could gather, ranks a solid eight on my haunt meter Mega haunted. And yes, that means there's two levels above Mega Haunted, and maybe we'll see him later. Alright, bye guys!